180 pounds from Yokohama, Japan, Yoshihiro Tajiri. A hot crowd here tonight in Philadelphia, and the Japanese boss saw Tajiri. Set for this four-way battle with the middleweight title on the line, St. Laurent. And think about how much history he has here in the 2300 arena as he gets a standing ovation from this packed crowd. They love Tajiri. They feel like they put him on the map back in the day. And here he is at Fightland trying to win the World Middleweight Championship, and I can't wait. Response for Tajiri returning here to the 2300 Arena. He mentioned it quite the history. Made his debut all the way back in 1994. Enters the matchup tonight representing all Japan pro wrestling. Boy, he'd love to win the title and carry that back to Japan with him. Combat number two, weighing in at 155 pounds from Mexico City, Mexico, it is What a matchup we saw recently with Iris on MLW Fusion Alpha. Yeah, the last time that we saw Iris taking on Aramis. What a great match it was. Couldn't wait to see them again. Couldn't imagine that it would be here in a four-way match for the middleweight championship of the world. Minor Reed defending. Yoshihiro Tajiri, the Japanese legend, one of the most accomplished middleweights of all time. And this is gonna be a classic, Rich. I can already feel it. Here is the master of strange style. Gonna take an awful lot to intimidate or next combatant weighing in at 177 pounds from Mexico City, Mexico. Aramis. Gonna take an awful lot to intimidate. Tajiri is now Aramis. Makes his way down to the ring and Aramis getting high marks from none other than Conan. Yeah, of course, Conan has spoken so highly about Aramis. You think about all of the great luchadors that Conan has discovered and mentored over the years. And we already saw when it was Aris and Aramis one-on-one. And finally, on one. weighing in at 154 pounds from Louisville, Kentucky, the world middleweight champion, Myron Reed. We already saw, they are the future of Lucha Libre. They are the future of the middleweight division here in MLW. But let's look at Myron Reed, the middleweight champion of the world. Defeated Leo Rush for that title, but now his most daunting defense of this ring as he's got so much talent he has to face all at once. Big up to this kid for being willing to put his title on the line in this situation. Now, kind of an interesting predicament that Myron Reed finds himself in. Originally a one on one matchup against Tajiri, but boy, after that matchup that we saw on Alpha between Eris and Aramis, Cesar Duran, very busy as a matchmaker. Yes. That's what that's what we expected from Cesar Duran. That's why he's here to make big fights, to bring big violence. And he's been doing his job quite well, Rich. Yeah, I was so impressed by Aramis and Eris. She said, no, not gonna be a one-on-one -on -one matchup for the world middleweight title. It will be a four-way battle. First pinfall submission will determine the winner. Myron Reed with a tough task ahead here tonight. And look at Tajir, just soaking it all in. He's been everywhere, he's done it all. Perhaps one of the most accomplished middleweights in the history of the sport. And now this 2300 arena crowd paying their respects to the Japanese legend. Aramis offering the handshake. Myron Reed as well. Seeing a lot of sportsmanship here in the early going. But when a world title's at stake, when egos are at stake, everything on the line in this match, I don't know how long the sportsmanship is gonna last, Rich. 
Well, all three competitors offering handshakes here to to Jerry and uh, well, Eris with the full Nelson and uh, we are underway in this matchup. Again, no tags, none of, none of that. It is a four-way battle and Eris trying to put the Jerry away early on. Backslide here from the champion. And one of the things about a match like this, Rich, you really have to have eyes in the back of your head or eyes on your hand in the case of Ares because you've got opponents everywhere you turn. Sunset flip, Ares trying to put Reed away and now the crucifix is broken up. Myron Reed trying to pin Aramis. Oh, what a super kick right to the chin. We see Tajiri tossed to the outside early. Honestly, you know, you could make an argument strategically stay out there a little bit. It's early in the match, everyone's fresh. The chances of a pinfall in the next minute maybe are not as high as they would be a little later on. So let's see what Tajiri does here. Sometimes your opponents can lose track of you when there's this many bodies. Aramis, well, spinning caught by Eris. The action gonna be lightning quick in this one. A breakneck pace, no doubt. Two count there, and able to bridge up as Aramis floats over. Straight jacket. The two best rising stars from Mexico, the legend from Japan, the middleweight champion Myron Reed. So much talent in this match, but right now, it's Aramis and Ares. Aramis in the gold mask. Ares with the makeup, the face paint, the war paint. Very dangerous competitor, of course, but there, look at that flying head scissors from Aramis. Forearm smash connects. Aramis, oh! Forearm back elbow. And Eris seeing stars, but no, oh, wait a minute here. Fireman's carry. Myron Reed biding his time, waiting for the right moment to strike. Steps out of the way, oh man! And now the world middleweight champion. Myron Reed from the outside in. And we're seeing the skills from Myron Reed here as he floats to the outside with the greatest of ease and comes right back in with the guillotine leg drop. That slingshot guillotine leg drop. Myron Reed very focused and is going to have to be in. You know, the important thing in a matchup like this, St. Laurent, is that Reed technically doesn't have to lose, but he could lose the title. That's true, and that's why we talked about the courage to be willing to defend this kind of situation. But when Cesar Duran's calling the shots, you might not have a choice. Oh, the Japanese buzzsaw to Jerry. Important to, uh, to note here, to Jerry initially trained as a kickboxer. Yes, he did. Laurent. Some of the most lethal kicks that we have ever seen in this sport. The Japanese buzzsaw back in the 2300 arena, fighting for the middleweight championship of the world, trying to bring it back to Japan, to all Japan pro wrestling. You got Aramis and Ares trying to bring the title back to Mexico. Truly, truly a world championship, Rich. Aramis. Ducking, weaving on the outside. Deep arm drag sends Tajiri across the ring. Connected with a drop kick. Tajiri to the outside. Aramis with speed. Slowed by Eris, who then dives through the ropes and takes out Tajiri. Heads up for Aramis. Suicide dive. Eris, who's known for oh, his strength style. Aramis diving through the ropes and takes out Aramis. Heads up now for Eris. Over the top. Somersault plancha onto the champion, but here comes Aramis. Full speed ahead over the top. Myron Reed. Oh boy, here we go. Reed over the top. World middleweight title on the line here in this matchup in Philadelphia. tonight in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. 
This place is rocking here tonight, St. Laurent. But all four men now, Rich, have taken so much damage. It was plancha after plancha after plancha, and then Aramis with the gorgeous moonsault from the top to the floor. It's Aramis back to his feet first, trying to take it to Myron Reed, but there's Tajiri. Aramis turns his back momentarily. Oh my God, Myron Reed! A flying ace crusher over the top rope to the floor, taking out everybody. And this is now the champion's best shot he's had so far to retain, Rich. Quickly sends Aramis back into the ring. No cap splash! Myron Reed to retain the title. Oh my God! Tajiri with the big kick! Tajiri. Cover to put this away. No. Harris in there to break it up. Let's take another look. There's Myron Reed with that crusher over the top rope. Wiped everyone out. As to Jerry now. No. Harris able to connect with a kick. Missed that time and to Jerry with a stop to the back. Harris able to roll through, double stop. And to Jiri. Gonna try and take a breather as the action continues. Harris setting up Aramis, here's the ropes for leverage. Oh man! Aramis! Suplex into the cover. To Jerry right there to break it up. But it's just so difficult, Rich, even with a great suplex like that, to not put yourself in a situation where someone can blindside you. As we've seen Tajiri do several times, breaking up those pins, keeping his hopes alive, but now, Aramis is trapped in the tarantula! Innovated by Tajiri. Oh boy. Aris, kick it away. And finally, Tajiri releases the hole. Myron Reed back into action. off with. Oh, well, maybe he won't. Myron Reed is lucky right there. He's wearing that chest protector, but look at the precision of Tajiri. Yeah, look but he's where he's kicking. kicking right under that chest protector. That pinpoint accuracy that Tajiri is so well known for. Aramis missed with the clothesline. Drop kick, leg sweep. Aramis. Looking for the double underhook. Eris able to get free. Forearm smash ends Aguirre. And Eris runs right into a forearm. Aramis. Myron Reed got caught with a kick. And the world middleweight champion just crumbles off the apron down to the floor. And when you've got such great high oh. flyers like Aramis and Eris, oh. you're not even safe on the floor, Rich. There's nowhere safe in a match like this. Bodies are flying all over the place here tonight in Philadelphia. With the world middleweight title on the line. Myron Reed, the champion. Aramis, Erez, and the Japanese buzzsaw, Tajiri. All looking to pry it away from him here tonight. No! Oh, God, Spanish fly on the outside. And quickly rolls him back in to try to get the win here. Aramis takes out the legs from behind, but Harris right back up connects with the kick. These two luchadors referred to by Conan as the next breakout stars. Oh God, that could do it. Harris. No. At the last moment, Aramis got the shoulder up. Yeah, a lot of damage on a move like that. Just didn't have the right angle to put enough weight on the shoulder. So Aramis able to get the shoulder up, but obviously hurt here. And here's Eris' chance to take advantage. Oh my God, Myron Reed with the cutter. Up into the fireman's carry, Myron Reed. Oh my God, that could do it. Leg hooked, the champion to put it away. Tajiri at the very, very last moment. 
The cap and crunch, that would have been it if Tajiri wasn't there to make the save. And a counter to the Brain Buster. Myron Reed, oh, sent into the official. Reed able to put the brakes on. He can't protect himself, and there's the kick! Buzzsaw kick! Tajiri! Tajiri's the new middleweight champion of the world! You win over as new world series champion, Yushinio Tajiri! This place is going nuts! Tajiri! Shihiro Tajiri captures the middleweight championship. Hit the miss when the ref wasn't looking. Hit that buzzsaw kick in the most accomplished middleweight of all time. His legacy grows even more. Let's take another look. Myron Reed gets sent into the official, and as the official was trying to collect himself, Tajiri with the green miss, and then, oh man, look at the precision on the buzzsaw kick. Tajiri celebrating your new MLW World Middleweight Champion here tonight at Fightland.